at a crop show today. This is my first time seeing a crop show. I am really excited and ready to explore to see what it's all about. I happened to meet Raj, whom I found to be very passionate about agriculture and innovation. The diversity in nature, the diversity in uh, vegetables, that, that, that's beautiful. That's absolutely great. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, they ask me, well, what would you want to do for vacation? You know, I said, I'm on vacation 365 days because I love this. It's not a job for me. It is quite interesting how it all started. Raj, armed with a degree in horticulture from India and further studies and work experience in the United States of America, returned to his homeland with a mission to start seed production. That is how Tropica started. In 1993, that was the first program for seed production which we started. Continued to produce seeds till about 2000. We had uh, several clients by that time. But by 2000, we realized that uh, just produce, we could do much more than just producing seeds. So we decided to get down into research. Before delving into the crop show, conversing with Raj about Tropica proved to be an eye-opener, enriching my appreciation for the event even further. We had to compete with more uh, large companies, uh, breeding companies which are more than 150 years old. So we realized that uh, breeding in Bangalore gives us uh, a year-round growing condition. So we can have more cycles, so we will be more faster in breeding. So that was the competitive advantage we brought onto the table. Apart from the talent pool that we have, we have excellent breeders uh, in India. And in terms of uh, crops and the markets, because we were clear that we, we, uh, we said, let's have a 360 de degree approach. And uh, so we picked up about uh, 14 species to start with. And we said we will work two latitudes above and two latitudes below the equator. That's the bandwidth within which we wanted to work. So the reason why now Tropica is evolved into a company, uh, we do a lot of work glo uh, locally, but with the capability to deliver products for global markets. Listening to their research process was absolutely fascinating. Question which I ask my research people, uh, my researchers is, what is it that you want to sell 20 years from now? Now, so basically the researchers have to start thinking what are the problematics that we will have in the future? For example, with the climate change, extreme climates, uh, unpredictable uh, rains, uh, you know, this uh, forces us to develop varieties which are more tolerant, more adaptable. Uh, and with this climate change also comes new diseases. So we need to come up with new uh, disease resistance uh, programs, uh, apart from, of course, commercial trades. We take anywhere between six to eight years from design to development of a product. We do all our basic research here in Bangalore, around Bangalore, and then we do testing in various parts of uh, the country. We, if it is for heat tolerance, we would go in the north, in places like Karnal. We do uh, screening for viruses, uh, for okra in, uh, in the east. We also have a research program in Turkey where we do, uh, we test our material there. Sometimes we also develop products over there uh, for the M Middle East and, uh, and the Mediterranean uh, markets. I was curious about the distinction between the hybrids. The difference between these hybrids, are it could be very subtle, it could be some disease resistance. You might not be able to see it, but it has certain tolerance to diseases. The size could be slightly different, the shelf life could be different, the taste could be different. These are all uh, uh, measured uh, very critically. Sometimes you don't see it to a naked eye, it's not possible to see it. Screening is a very important process in seed production. 
screening is uh, mainly it will comes in the pathology but for example this is the squash squash or the zucchini which is which got the virus this is the different kinds of virus this is like uh, new delhi virus squash mosaic virus zucchini virus all the viruses it will be infecting so what we are doing we are planting our all the hybrids and the varieties here and we will screen for the different uh, um, uh, viruses as the question crossed my mind how do these plants become infected the pathologist elaborated that one of the methods of infection is through white flies white flies will uh, come and infect the healthy plant uh, earlier it will uh, infect get infection from the infected plants and it will transfer the virus to the healthy plant we will uh, uh, take up the planting in that predominant season where the infection is very high like uh, december uh, sowing or the um, january sowing and also in the may or the june sowing if a susceptible plant acquires the virus then it dies if the plant is resistant then it won't acquire the virus and the fruits will be good thus this is one of the methods used to determine if the seeds are resistant seed production itself is a very different process where we have to give the male and the female lines to seed growers who do controlled pollination and then they extract the, the seed from the the pollinated fruits they ship the seed to our plant which is uh, it's about 6 kilometers from here in which is a station uh, which is in bangalore as well where they clean the seed they test it for uh, quality parameters and then it is packed and shipped out to the farmers despite grappling with challenges like limited experience and funding resources tropica has made remarkable strides with 40 acres dedicated to research and collaboration with 1000 seed farmers across karnataka and maharashtra they now produce 50 to 60 tons of seeds annually their connection to the farmers through the amka app is truly commendable now Equipped with all this information, let's immerse ourselves in the crop show. Tropica's annual event brings together business associates, farmers, and families to showcase their latest research findings. The researchers have to make sure that anywhere between 10 to 20 percent of the product displayed are new products. So it has to have a better performance, better quality. a minimum of 25 to 30% better performance we grow green manure for 6 months before the the show starts and the first crop that goes in is cotton the planting starts in september because we and then it continues all the way to december because we need to synchronize everything that everything is at the right stage to be able to display in in one shot crop show is spread over 3 and 1/2 acres and let's explore some beautiful hybrids this is a new tomato that we have over here which has uh, resistance to two diseases tomatoes are tasty when you uh, harvest them ripe from the vine now this tomato which is red can be harvested red and it is still very firm and can hold for at least 4 weeks so it can transport long distance tunisian harissa peppers are also known as tunisian hot chili peppers these peppers are known for their fiery heat and distinctive flavor harvested red it is dried and once it is dried then it is uh, sent to processing companies where they make the paste which is called harissa which We have two brands under which we sell the products. We have uh, one which is called Indosem and Tropica. The Arab world uh, likes huge watermelons. They, uh, when they, uh, they they generally they graft it on uh, pumpkins, the watermelons, and uh, the size of the watermelon can be as uh, big as uh, 18 to 20 kilos. Wow. I want to call it sunshine. <laughs>
beautiful. A tomato is a striped tomato. This is typically used in salads. Not commonly used, but used primarily in uh, in five star hotels, and so they're extremely expensive. Uh, even the seed is very expensive. Can cost a kilogram is equal to a Ferrari, about two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand euros. It's sold primarily in euro uh, at those prices. It's extremely speciality tomatoes. They're sold at very very high prices. This is a bhaji pepper, which is shorter. I mean, it looks the same. Then you might say, why this one? Because uh, when the size is smaller, it's easier to dip it into the batter and fry it. Whereas this pepper is used in uh, in countries like uh, Egypt, Algeria, uh, in in different ways. They don't fry it. Discover a diverse array of captivating hybrids across 16 species, totaling 300 varieties, with 45 new additions this year. The crop show offers a visually stunning feast and abundant opportunities for learning and exploration. As the crop show wraps up, let's hear what Raj envisions for Tropica's future. We are hoping to set up stations in Africa. We would like to continue with our uh, research efforts in uh, Turkey, set up in, uh, in Morocco, this is a station which we identified. And we would like to have a station in the east, either Thailand or Philippines. Now, the whole idea is, this is where the population centers will be. Our objective is that we would like to develop and deliver seeds for these markets. And considering the future, problems. Uh, it could be water problems, it changing weather patterns. So what we are trying to do is to develop uh, products which we will be, the farmers will be able to use under these adverse conditions. Wishing Raj all success in his vision. I had great fun and great learning today. My personal favorite, the yellow watermelon. This definitely was another through eye for me. subscribe and share the through YE lifestyle. Continue to be amazing.